waterfall labs, beautiful scenery, lakeside view, and more fights in space toilet paper than a Costco in 2020. Now let's get to it. Hey guys, if you enjoy this kind of content, consider leaving a like and a sub. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithm and lets me know what kind of content you want to see. Thanks for your consideration. Now on with the video. Waterfall Labs is located in the top northeast corner of the map. It has four spawn points in the immediate area and three within a short runaway. It has two evacs within the facility and two more close by. It has large amount of felt site nodes to its north and because of terrain and other factors, it gets a ton of player traffic rotating through or near the area. The available loot in Waterfall Labs is a long list. Many of the items that can be found here can be found more readily in other places. However, if I were in Bright Sands, and need to find these particular items consistently, Waterfall Labs will probably be my first stop. The Striders and Rattlers are plentiful, so if you loot well and clear out the mobs, you can consistently evac with enough materials to craft green shields and even blue shields depending on your luck. The thing you want to remember is that certain types of loot are more likely to spot in certain containers. For example, you're more likely to find old medicine in med cases, polymetallic free fabricates in drawers, jewelry in safes, fertilizers and coolers, etc. Some of these have crossover, but if you're seeking out specific items, it's best to know where to check. This is true for every location, by the way. And below the facility, you can consistently find large amounts of water weeds, but don't linger here as you are vulnerable to getting pushed from high ground. The ways in and out are easy. It's either a door or a jump in. Let's go over them now. major sections to reference are North House, Safe Room, West Evac, Lab, Med Bay, and Center Hallways. The North House sits along the north and provides some cover while you're waiting for Evac. The roof and rock outside here can be used as a defensive position. The windows in the second floor are broken so you can fire onto the West Evac and Lab with minimal exposure. When waiting for Evac, there are a lot of different strats you can employ depending on the information that you have. You can use the glass available here to gain line of sight while denying damage. You can leave the Safe Room open if you have a long range weapon or closed if you want a sound trap instead. Stairs like this can be used to shoot through while negating some of the return fire. The Safe Room has two floors and four ways in. The long hallways and cover available make it very easy to defend. You can use the stair handrails here to peek this hallway and you can use this spot behind this handrail to cover this hallway. Approaching the safe room from either of the bottom hallways is risky. You're making a lot of noise from metal and glass so if there's anyone here they'll know you're coming. They also have the advantage of cover with multiple possible angles to fire from and will be able to hit your feet long before you see them. This spot above the entry point is something to watch out for as well. The West Evac is relatively easy to defend as you have lots of cover and fallback options along with choke points to keep an eye on. There are a couple of spots to see over the wall here. The break in the wall can be used as an entry and the ridge against the wall here is also a useful route. The lab area is where you can find a lot of the loot in waterfall labs. The waiting room feeds into the stairway. You can check the glass for legs here and as you rotate you can see if someone has their weapon hanging over the rail here. In general that's a good way to clear a staircase. You can peek between the lab stations here which is useful for sniffing out rats and you can clear out the staircase in a similar way to the last one. And the windows in the top floor give you an option to fire from other than the top door. The med bay holds a decent amount of med supplies and the mobs often spawn and patrol the halls between the med bay and the rest of the facility and they serve as potential buffers between you and another player. This area here and this spot here are common hiding places. This center hallway is a dangerous place. If someone is waiting on either end, the best time for them to peek is while you're in one of these tube areas. Generally, I try to avoid going north-south or south-north on the main hallway unless I have to, or if there's mobs already on the other end. There are several different ways you can gain access to the roof. From inside the facility of the med bay, the center hall, and the safe room hallway. You can also access it from outside via the med bay door and the ledge near the lab window jump up. If you're on the roof, these broken glass sections in the hallways serve as entry points or as exits if you're already in them. If you want to move south without going through the main hall, you can jump out here and make your way to the lakeside door. Just be mindful of the mobs that you may aggro. The med bay area also has open windows here that you can shoot through and exit from. If you're on the roof, you can access it as an entry point as well. If you have an opponent in the safe room that's trying to push you, this box here is high enough to give you a great fire position. Some of these broken glass sections provide excellent cross hallway shots to help break up stalemate scenarios. There's a bench here in the med bay that can be jumped on and used for a cheeky fire angle. If you're approaching the facility from the land ramp here, you can use this little ledge to access the lab without exposing yourself too much to the safe room hallway. And this fence provides a fast landing 
starting point for escapes and follow-ups. Well, that's it for Waterfall Labs. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider checking out my other videos and subscribing for future content. Thanks for watching, and of course, good hunting.